Hey, what's going on guys? It's Kyle here. Uh, I just wanted to make a video recapping my 2016 season along with um, my plans for the 2017 season. So, 2016 went alright. I did very well in the Connecticut Division 10 ABA, ABA Division 10. Um, I learned a lot, caught a lot of fish, did really well. Um, but it's local tournaments, what are you going to do? I fished a couple New Jersey events, I didn't do as well in New Jersey, but I figured it out the lake, so I mean, if I get the opportunity to fish any of those events next year, I think that I'll, I'll be able to do really well. Um, I organized all my my soft plastics here. Um, I kind of make it made a list of what I really need. I need some more uh, finesse worms, I need some more drop shot baits, even though basically I only throw a real worm. Um, and uh, Juke Taylors or whatever, you guys don't really care about that stuff. But, um, I came into the 2016 season. Oh, also, I went to, um, the James River, the Bass Open at the James River. I didn't catch a fish. It was horrendous, horrible. I did terrible. We're going to take that event and we're going to put that aside and we are never going to revisit that experience ever again. I actually really enjoyed myself and I learned a lot, but I, I fished like an idiot. I mean... I tried hard, but I just I just couldn't catch a bass. I don't know what was going on. Um, now that I think about it, did I even catch a fish at all? I mean, I caught some in practice, but did I even catch a fish in the tournament? I don't know if I caught a fish. No, I did. I caught a catfish. I caught a catfish. <laughs> anyway. So, um... Yeah, and I also went to Fort Gibson Lake in Oklahoma for the FLW Costa Series event. I, I finished in the top 100 in that, so I did really well. Uh, I was throwing a square bill off of points. And then uh, once we moved that into the river, I mean, I can flip very well, but I fished as a co-angler. And um, flipping as a co-angler behind a, an Elite Series guy, which is what I was at at that stage, it, I'm never gonna catch one flipping. I caught a five and a half pounder in practice, so that was really exciting and it was worth the trip to me. But, um, yeah, so, overall 2016, you know, I came into the season with no sponsors, um, none at all, not even, like, my family gave me a sponsorship, or, like, someone from work, or, like, a local tackle shop, you know, nothing, nothing, zero, zilch. I'm still self-funding myself for the 2017 season, but, and even 2018, but hopefully not in 2018, but we'll see, um, but I came in with nothing. Now I got something. I got um, Irod. Irod was the first sponsor I ever got. Um, we got Lake Forth Trophy Lures. We got Rod Socks. We got Frog Tops. We got Solar Bat Sunglasses. We got All Terrain Tackle Jigs. Um, we got a couple more that are in the works and they're not official yet, so I can't really announce them yet. But uh, there are possibilities um, that they may, may or may not happen. But I feel like I, I progressed really well. I learned so much this year. And I I mean, I came into the season not even knowing how to text this rig properly. Let's be honest here. I didn't know how to put a bobber stop on. Okay? You got to understand where I was and where I am now. Okay? I've What I really have identified this season is what kind of fisherman I am and what kind of fisherman I'm going to be. Okay? All right, sorry. I, I've, I've recognized some tactics that I'm really good at. I came into the season literally hating drop shot fishing. Didn't know how to tr tie a drop shot. Didn't know um, how to fish a drop shot. I hated the idea of fishing a drop shot. And now, what is my favorite thing to do? Throw a drop shot. If I could have one bait, that's it. Only one bait. It'd be a drop shot, ro robo worm, and Aaron Martin's morning draw on that would literally be the only thing I would throw um, or a jackal clone fry and I'm being honest there <laughs> um, flipping that's a very good strength in me I'm a very good flipper um, I know how to flip coming into this first tournament I, I learned how to f no did I I don't even No, I think I knew how to pitch 
barely, but I think I knew how to pitch coming into the first tournament, but I wasn't good at it by any means. But, um, yeah, I didn't really know how to do that, but now I'm, I'm good at that. I've recognized that I'm really a finesse fisherman first, flipper second, crankbait third. That's essentially what I do in top water. I can't really place top water in there. I'm good with top water, but I don't really, can't really place it in there because it's so technique specific for each bait, so it's hard to describe. But um, yeah, Texas rigging and flipping. Uh, I didn't fish a jig for, I caught one bass on a jig this year. Actually, no, I caught more than one bass, but I caught one good bass on a jig. One, besides swim jig, which I threw a lot, um, I only caught one good bass on a jig, and that was in uh, the Connecticut River on a missile, no, all-terrain tackle finesse jig with a uh, Lake Fork Hyper Freak as a trailer. That's what I was using. Um, that's a dynamite combination, just letting everyone know out there. If you're starting off throwing a jig, all-terrain tackle makes a beautiful uh, all-around casting, flipping jig, skipping jig, the all-terrain tackle jig uh, with a Lake Fork Hyper Freak as a trailer. I used the 3.5 size, but you can go with the 5 inch size. But I like to flip the 5 inch, I like to put the 3.5 on the back of the jig. But regardless, that's not the, my point. What I really wanted to talk about was my plan for the 2017 season. Now, I'm going to go into my laptop here. Okay, we're on the laptop. Try not to show my password. It doesn't really matter, but, um... Okay. So, um... As you can see, I'm already on the internet, but we're going to go into sh my calendar. Oh, we're in February 2018. That was just me. I budgeted out my year of two. What, what the hell? I don't know what that, that's all about. But basically, we're going to start in uh, January of 2017. Alright, so um, I'm going to be traveling to an FLW Costa Series event on the 23rd through the 28th at Lake Okeechobee. Um, I'm really excited for this. Um, I don't really want to go into too much of the specifics of what I'm going to be throwing, but um, Okeechobee is a pretty obvious one, so I'm going to just go out on a limb there. I'm going to be throwing a Grassmaster um, all-terrain tackle jig with a Lake Fork Hyper Freak 5-inch on the back. That's basically what I'm going to be throwing on there. Alright, then we're going into... Um, I'm not going to say what I'm going to be throwing in this because I, I think I have a good chance to catch some giants here. On uh, Sam Rayburn Lake in Texas, I'm going to be traveling there uh, the 20th through the 26th. I will, or 20, yeah, 25th I'll be in uh, Texas. Very exciting. FLW Coastal Series event. Then at the end of uh, March, we got a Lake Dardanelle, I believe. Oh, what the hell? I'm going to just look up the FLW Coastas. I mean, I'm fishing some of the Bass Opens, but it's mostly Coastas. Just because um, it works on my schedule better. And um, yeah, Lake Dardanelle in Russellville, Arkansas. On uh, this, and apparently it's like a, it's a, it's an impoundment of the uh, Arkansas River. You guys probably have heard about that. There's been Bassmaster Elite Series events there. But um, I'm not new to fishing and I'm not new to bass fishing, but I'm new to tournament fishing. So, um, yeah, you know, Lake Dardanelle, I didn't really heard of it before. It's all right. Happens. This is my uh, really like last year was my rookie season. This is my sophomore season in the uh, Coast Series, and in 2018 I will be in uh, the FLW Tour. So uh, here we are here uh, at the end of April. This is a Bassmaster uh, Open at Chickamauga, and my main goal for the 2017 season is to learn how to fish ledges for largemouth bass. Um, I have no idea how to fish offshore for largemouth. I know how to fish offshore a little bit for smallmouth. Um, I know basically to look for uh, rock to sand transitions and then throw on that break line with a, whatever bait you choose. I like to throw a drop shot. Surprise, surprise. But um, yeah, I'm going to learn to do some of the offshore smallmouth. Maybe. I don't know if I'm going to get to with the way this goes. 
but uh, we'll be in Chickamauga then. Um, I, I don't know 100%. Like, this may be a ledge fishing tournament, but it may not be. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, at, the, at that point in April, it it probably should be a post-spawn tournament, but you never really know. You never really can tell with uh, the weather up in this area. And uh, I'm in New York, New Jersey area, but uh, Tennessee's only about 10 hours, like, south-ish. Regardless, we got a... Uh, then this one, I'm really, really excited. I'm absolutely excited for multiple reasons, but... Um, I'm going to the California Delta. Uh, I never in a million years would have thought that I'd be able to have the opportunity to travel to California, but, you know, at this age, just to go bass fishing, this is insanity. If you told me a year from now that I end, uh, in May of 2017, I'd be traveling to California to fish a tournament, you'd, I'd tell you you're absolutely out of your mind. But, that's what's happening. Now, this one I'm absolutely pumped for. Um, I'm going to be at Kentucky Lake June 4th through June 10th. Uh, if I, if they're not on ledges at Chickamauga, they'll be on ledges at Kentucky Lake. I'll tell you that much. So I'm doubling down. I'm making sure that I will definitely be um, fishing some ledges and learning how to fish some ledges. Then we got Champlain. I'll be, I will be in Champlain. Now, Oneida is above bump tournament if I don't do uh, if I don't catch catch a check in one of these uh, events we got one two three four five six events if I don't catch a check in one of those six events I won't be going to Oneida I don't know what this is this needs to just go away um, if I do catch a check I'll be at Oneida if I don't I will not so plain and simple that's what's happening there this is Thousand Islands right here uh, my family may be going with me to thousand islands um that's a beautiful place and honestly i know it's a lot of big small mouth but i don't really know what the hell i'm doing there i'm basically should bring my small mouth gear and I'm, I'm a good small mouth fisherman so uh, it comes naturally to me i don't really know what i'm doing but i end up catching a lot of fish so you know what are you gonna do so i'm going there uh, the James River, again, this is another one that's a bump tournament. Um, I fished here last year. I know the forge. I know what to throw. But you can only do so much. So, I mean, I may not have the money at this exact moment to do this if I don't cash some checks. So, we'll see. Then, uh, the reason being why I won't have the money is because I, I'm 100% going to this tournament. That I, I want to go to this tournament more than anything. The Potomac River Tournament. Uh... And August 24th, this is out of uh, Marbury, Maryland. I can see myself potentially winning this tournament. That's uh, It fits my strengths very, very well. This is Lake Douglas. I can almost guarantee you I'm not going to this unless I really cash some checks throughout the year. If I win a Potomac, then... If I win a Potomac, actually, it, all the money will be going to the FLW Tour from the next year, so... I probably won't, um... I won't go to Douglas regardless. Uh, then I'll be at the Bassmaster Open at uh, Smith Lake in Alabama. I'll definitely be there for sure. And then uh, another bump tournament is uh, this Lake of the Ozarks tournament. The reason being why I have it on my calendar is because in the event that, let's say, while at, um, what am I going to be doing? Okay, yeah, we're cent the Central Division I'll be fishing at um, Dardanelle. Let's say I finish top 40 here. That gives me the top 40. Let's say I finish top 40 in Kentucky Lake. Which I don't anticipate happening, but if it does... If I'm in the top 40 at, uh, overall in the Central Division for the co-angler side... Uh, I'm going to want to fish Lake of the Ozarks... To see if I can maybe qualify for the championship on uh, Kentucky Lake in November... Again, I have no idea how I'd be fishing Kentucky Lake in November. I'd just be assuming we'd be working points and uh, pre-wintering areas. So, coves. Basically the same thing you'd be working in the pre-spawn, but the reverse. 
I don't know, it's hard, it's hard to describe, you know, they're, the fish, instead of the fish migrating from shallow water to deep water, they're going to be migrating from deep water to shallow water that's near deeper water. It's hard to describe, but when you are out there on the boat, you, you know what you're looking for. If you're just an experienced angler, I'm just not very good at subscribing it. And then, um, that's about it until February of 2018, where I will be going in the FLW tour. But, uh, anyway... I think that the overall 2016 was a successful season. I want to place better. I want to do better. I want to win more uh, in 2017. But for now, I'm, I'm really excited. And also, uh, if you guys want any sunglasses from Solar Bat, be sure to use my discount code. It's KYLEZ. Gets you 20% off, and it also helps me out. So um, if you need that, definitely go ahead and do that. But uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, root me on, and... Follow me on Instagram, Kyle Zelma is my Instagram, all on uh, one word, just K-Y-L-E-Z-E-L-M-A, Instagram, that's my Instagram. Um, yeah, thanks you guys for watching, and uh, tight lines.